friends and be vegan here. And I have a nice uh, new recipe. I found it on the internet from Jennifer Conley. It's a gourmet raw chef in the tradition of uh, Living Life Culinary Institute in California, Northern California. Yeah, I like those guys over there. They um, almost can say invented professionally. Um, they they created the first. They founded the first uh, institute where you can learn to become a gourmet raw food chef. Before that, raw food was healthy, but not so tasty. <laughs> I, I like a I like a carrot. That's wonderful. But you can live on that for, for, for years or so. It doesn't work. Half a year later, you break down and go back to cooked food. Yes, but with this kind of um, um, gourmet raw food, it is possible to eat raw food all the time. Of course, I'm the 100% raw food, and I come to an interesting part of the question of today. What is my diet on a given day? Well, it is mostly raw, of course vegan. My name is here on Facebook, MD Vegan, that's why I am vegan. And that because that is because I am um, doing tree yoga, and in tree yoga we learn that ahimsa, that is non-violence, is the most important rule to live together. You could uh, philosophically, philosophically, ethically uh, discuss and debate about why ahimsa is so important. You will find, um, maybe I'll tell you something more about that thought, line of chain of thoughts, later in another video, I don't know, and for now it should be enough, you will find um, that it's really logic. It is pure logic that uh, comes, that brings you, takes you into, onto the Ahimsa path, the path of non-harming anybody. That is uh, with a personal soul, that means a plant has not a personal soul, so the yogis believe, a personal soul have humans and animals. So that's what I don't eat, I just eat plants. Yes, they are Wonderful food for us. So that's enough for that part. And um, now on a given day, I eat mostly raw. And um, I can't do that because of the gummi raw food. That makes it possible for me. And, uh, but sometimes I like something cooked. Today, for example, I eat all raw. I have a juice. I have a, a smoothie. And I have a soup. This soup is from, the recipe is from Jenny of Walter Combeat. So I, I have it from her, I don't know. This is um, here, carrot juice. I juice 10 carrots, one apple, and one half of lemon. I put that, simply put that into the blender. I mean, that is, by the way, it's a wonderful idea. That it is uh, more common. That is, everybody knows it in the raw food gourmet tradition that using juices vegetable juices, or fruit juices, tomato juices, celery juices, cucumber juices, all kinds of juices can make a wonderful soups. It's better than to juice uh, than to blend the simply the blend the vegetables up because it is not so easy for the raw food cuisine. Uh, by the way, here is an avocado you see. It's a delicious avocado. It has to be go to go in to make the soup nice and creamy. So this is um, it is not so easy to get a vegetable soup, really creamy and delicious, and um, because of the fibers sometimes, and sometimes because of the bitterness of the vegetables. Broccoli soup, for example, is not that easy to make. It is possible, um, but it is, um, you need some tricks. The simple soup is a carrot soup. Here, with an avocado, with some ginger. I grated some ginger here. Little knob, up to your taste, to your flavor, what you like. And I put some salt into it, half a teaspoon, I have Himalayan salt, and I have some allspice. This is called, allspice has been called allspice by the English in the 18th century. See this allspice? It's a dried fruit. The dried fruit, and um, because they thought it combines all the three flavors, all the three flavors of the nutmeg, cinnamon, and the third one, I don't remember now. So I will simply put it into my mortar. It's very easy. Allspice is very easy to grind. See, this is what it looks like. I 
a, a little teaspoon. See, this is all spice ground. I put this into the soup too. And now I'm very curious what this soup looks like. To be careful, I have to put something onto the blender on top. Might be it will push be pushed out. That's all. Because <coughs> I grated the ginger, I ground the, the, the old spice. This is all I need to do. You see? Oh, it's really creamy. Wow, it's a wonderful flavor. I have to show you this soup. Have a look. I mean, you could use. Oh, have you, can you see this? Isn't this amazing? Hey, this is an amazing, delicious, amazing, delicious soup. And this will be my, my second dish for today, my second meal. Maybe I'll have another blueberry cake from the other day. There's some left over with a little bit of chocolate, warm chocolate. That will be it. Maybe another apple or an orange. Maybe later at night. We'll see. Usually I don't eat after 7 o'clock um, p.m. Because then my system is all relaxed at night. And um, I can wake up very early and um, very happy and very easily. So next I tell you in another video. See you very soon.